Okay, let me get this straight. Miss Reynolds, you have no health insurance. No, I don't. Okay. Well, <laughs> get, <out. laughs> get the fuck out of my hospital, bitch. All right, what's up, everybody? We are on season four, episode 10 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Just a few more episodes to go this season. Uh, I just came off of watching the last one, which was a chaotic episode, to say the least. I got so, I mean, I had, I, I felt like I had no time to really even commentate or give much input about the episode with how fast we were just switching from one scenario to the next. Easily my favorite part was Charlie essentially sort of explaining his whole routine to D and, uh, you know, how he would <laughs> literally make himself sick to go to sleep because the cats would, <laughs> he had the cats would be like making sounds, which would be annoying as fuck and he would be able to sleep. But then, of course, it was Charlie himself having all the cat food and, and pissing, I guess, in the in the can or whatever in his room there, causing the cats to be there in the first place. You get what I'm saying? So it's like a whole self... Uh, 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 caused root like a well a self-caused situation is I guess what I'm saying right but fantastic I, I just love how they come up with these completely bizarre uh, idea or well yeah I don't know really how to put it but again Charlie is such a chaotic character the fact that even Frank came in there randomly like at some point comes into the room and immediately <laughs> eats the food goes to bed it's like it's fantastic those two are I guess made for each other right but Couple things also that I got confused about, by the way, um, which is that, uh, what was it? Charlie talked about like having a spy or something, spy on the waitress. At first I was like, is he talking about some kind of device? Is he talking about an actual person? But I figured actually in hindsight, he was just talking about a person that he actually pays. Plus, the one thing that I guess I didn't realize is that Dennis was obviously um, hallucinating, we found out by the end of the episode, his encounter with those two guys, Sinbad and... I forget what the other one was, was called. I think both of them are supposed to be like famous, at least at the time. Uh, I didn't recognize them, but then again, I'm just an uncultured European, I guess. But uh, what I realized like now as well is that it was the massive blow that Dennis got to his face that probably caused him to actually hallucinate like that. And that's, of course, also why at the end he said, I should probably go see a doctor, which I hope he's actually done so. But... Yeah, guys, with that being said, I'm ready to dive into this next episode. Of course, if you enjoy my reactions to It's Always Sunny, you can already get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Over there, I also react to the bloopers every season, as well as one exclusive episode every season you can check out over there. So go and check it out. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. You can also sign up for free and already watch the next two episodes right now. So... Like I said, go and check it out. And then for now, let's dive into this new episode of It's Always Sunny. Holy shit. Nah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's bubbles, but sounded like a video game for a second. My man, Frank, is smoking the good stuff. Oh, DeAndre, this is wacky. Hey, go download me a hoagie off the internet. I'm oh, sorry? A hoagie? <laughs> Those words don't make any sense. Oh, God, you guys. Oh, weird. I feel weird. <laughs> Rip another one. Yeah. It, it's not the cat food still, is it? I'm serious, oh. you guys. Something's not right. I think there's pigeons in the bar. Oh, dude, this is not good. <laughs> in the bar. I'm being really serious, you guys. I need She's to about to collapse here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. God, what is her problem? <laughs> <laughs> what is her problem? Yeah, she was just having a heart attack over there. Just ignore her. So attack yeah yikes yeah that's what i was trying to say <laughs> and the emt says basically i'm like a ticking time bomb at this point because it was just a little one i didn't know women could have heart attacks you it's know what's crazy. scary about this whole thing really is that i have the same genes as her uh, <laughs> first thing that dennis thinks about is like shit now it could happen to me as well can we focus on me for two minutes here i feel like we did talk D, about you. your ship has sailed okay it's time to move on to us doctor thank god listen let's just do all the tests you've got okay i feel like the big one's right around the corner well, actually, Miss Reynolds, first we need to discuss how you'll be paying for your stay. Oh, God. The money situation. Yep. Uh, no, I believe that is what taxes are for. Yeah, you don't pay a fine. Yeah, I don't think the American system quite works like that. One thing I do know is that, like, medical costs can be extremely expensive over there. Doctor, I have health insurance. Yeah, we're on her father's policy. You guys, check out this cool gown. Whoa, really let your ass breathe. 
Oh, oh my god, god. no, wow. Frank. Why are you wearing that thing, dude? I'm getting a full body scan. I've been partying real hard lately. Oh, they're, they're about to detect like 57 different diseases for you, Frank. <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. Miss Reynolds, you have no health insurance. No, I don't. Okay. Well, <laughs> get, <out. laughs> get the fuck out of my hospital, bitch. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Why is the government not providing us with health insurance? I mean, what is this? Like some kind of socialist country or some kind of <laughs> communist dictatorship? This is insane. This I is un-American. You don't pay for health insurance. That's crazy. All I know is we need to find insurance ASAP. Oh my god. That's like that's like the opposite of socialism though. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Why are you still wearing that thing, dude? Did you wear that all the way here? I let my ass breathe. <laughs> You keep saying that, but I don't know what it means. Yeah, how does an ass breathe? Explain that. How does, it, just like how does an ass breathe? Oh, he can show you. Don't worry. Just pull his finger. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of pills. Damn, yeah. The beauty of having insurance. You can get the top quality anti-anxiety drugs. Anti-anxiety drugs. Well, got a lot of them, huh? Yeah, that might sound great at first, but you can get pretty damn addicted to those too and build up a tolerance. And then when you, you get off of them, you're going to feel like absolute shit. Just taking them all at once? Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. It seems a bit aggressive to me. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Oh, this is great, D. This is perfect. I mean, getting in shape is like the best health insurance you can get. Yeah, you take care of your body. You don't need a doctor. That's I want exactly that. right. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm concerned about? I don't want to get too bulky. Right. I want to stay nice and lean and tight. I want to get that Jesus on the cross look. You know Jesus what I mean? on the cross the look. Must have been really good for your core because. Oh, yeah. Well, let's let's be honest. The specs are already masterful, right? They don't need any extra growth anymore you know let's do this thing let's do it all right I, I i i don't know if i'm ready i'm not feeling ready uh i'll tell you why i feel a little low energy that's what it is we need to fuel up now i see people utilizing a lot of shakes and powders yeah. around here we should probably look into that yeah you don't want to eat heavily before a workout let's get some new outfits right? that's a great idea you oh god nah reasons. i'm confused by that yeah uh i chose jeans i'm not seeing a lot this is so typical, that sort of procrastination, right? It's like, first they're thinking about, oh, we need a better outfit. No, we need to eat something. They're not going to get any exercise actually done. Official resume of Mac and Charlie. So both of you are. Well, gentlemen, I've never seen two people share a resume before. Well, we thought we'd save paper. You know, go green. Why do I feel like I've seen this shot already before? But I think you'll find that what we lack in formal education, we more than make up for in street smarts. Mm -hmm. okay, so we can kneel. <laughs> We can deal, we can oversee hostile takeovers, you whatever you need, bud. You it's a mailroom it. gig. And there's only one spot available. Why are they applying for this in the first place now? I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, this is nothing to do with money. <laughs> this is sort of a health insurance yeah. situation. For oh! So you frankly, don't even really have to pay us at all. No. Well, <laughs> legally I have to pay you something, but uh, minimum wage, maybe? Minimum Wait, I don't get it. I mean, they're just taking this job actually for the health insurance, but why do they not want to get paid at the same time? Either. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Yeah, bro. Minimum oh. wage. <laughs> Minimum wage. <laughs> Acting like that's a positive thing. I mean, I guess they don't really expect to show up much. All right, everybody. Before we begin today, uh, are there any physical ailments that I should know about first? Physical uh, yeah, ailments. I just had a heart attack. Yep. Excuse me? Yep. I just had a heart attack. Maybe you should turn this techno music down. Yeah, I gotta be honest, buddy. I'm not really feeling these two. Oh no, they're already taking over here. It seems like he's got a bunch of uh, goddamn dance mixes. Whoa, well, hang on. It's all good. I got a Steve Winwood CD in my car. I'll just go out and grab it. No, absolutely no respect, dude. Listen, I put the music in this class, okay? Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. I apologize. Oh. I, I had no idea that this was all about you. First of all, I don't think you should even be here if you just had a heart attack, man. Well, maybe you shouldn't dress like a bumblebee. <laughs> oh. Damn, man. Shots fucking fired. It is kind of a bumblebee outfit, yellow and black. You know, I gotta be honest with you, I feel like these supplements are doing a great job on their own. You know what I mean? I got tons of energy, my heart rate's up, things yeah. are going great. Absolutely, I feel good too. Look how. If you say so, man, I, you know, I've tried the protein shakes plenty of times, but they always make me feel like shit. Why don't we up the supplements, which we know work, and eliminate working out, which we know blows? That sounds like a pretty good plan. You know what? I'm gonna take it one step further. <laughs> Why are they stepping back in here? Working on a muscle that we've been neglecting this entire time, and it's the most important. <laughs> he got a CD out of his car. That's a gift for you, Bumblebee. Come on. Enjoy it, Coach Dick and Balls. To be fair, that's a pretty good song. I'll keep this music on. They just did you a favor, Bumblebee. Mr. Taylor, <laughs> whose grandpa was 
Mr. Sailor, there you go, Mr. Scott. Who drink I think this is gonna be from the scene where Charlie goes like this, right? The famous meme that I'd seen before I even watched any episode of the show. All right, this is Felix's pile. He receives for Eric, he receives for Janet. Don't ever look Janet in the eye because she's a horrible devil woman. So, will you just help me out, man? This is Johnson's mail, okay? Now, Johnson's gone AWOL for the week with the wife and kids <laughs> down in Orlando. So I want you to keep a pile in a neat stack somewhere. That's all Johnson's mail. I love how Charlie is taking it super seriously, though. This is a perfect opportunity. I'm going to hang out in his office and pretend I'm the new guy. Uh, I don't think that's going to work, dude. Uh, have you seen the secret of my success? Uh, they're gonna catch on to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, but before they do, I will come up with an idea that will save the company millions and they'll be forced to promote me. No, you won't. You're just getting fired. Oh, yeah, he bangs that old lady and then they play that song from the 80s, uh, Day Bow Bow. Chica -chica. Oh, Day Bow Bow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Day Bow Bow. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Don't do this too long. Don't do this too often because everybody's gonna catch on and. They're going to despise you already. Holy shit, Frank. Oh god, this is the anti-anxiety drugs kicking in, huh? Meds are kicking in. in. You smoking now? Uh, yeah, I'm smoking now. Are you kidding me? My nerves are like... So I'm trying to smoke. I'm trying to calm myself down. And hey, we got insurance, so what the hell? I'm to smoke. What's your system here, bro? Oh, it's pretty complicated. The mail goes into three sections according to how important I think the thing looks, okay? Now, the least important stuff I'm gonna burn... I've never smoked, but it always... I don't know, it just looks cool. You can say what you want, but it's definitely making Charlie pretty damn productive. Probably is just the nicotine and the caffeine, you know, doing its job. Come on, Mac, hit me. Come on, hit me again. Come on. Hit me. Look. <laughs> we found him wandering the streets. No ID... No nothing. <laughs> Figure we turn him over to you until someone. <laughs> Yo, look at his gaze. The way he's just looking around him. He has no idea where he is. Right through here. Hit me. Hit me again. You'll be fine, little Frankie. Here you are, along with your peers. Oh, it is this song. That's what I thought already. Yeah. Uh... Hello. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, who is this? This is Mac. I'm the new guy. What are you doing in my office? Why are you calling your phone in your own office? This is Johnson. Oh. Uh, I thought you were in Orlando. I am in Orlando. I'm trying to check my voicemail. Oh, okay. That's how that works, I guess. Old school phones. Uh, Why don't you just give me your name? Yeah, you probably don't want to do answer. that. We ain't telling you jack shit. I'm sure that's plenty of new guys, right? This is gonna be great, sis. I mean, we already got the mind, body, and soul going. Now all we need is to get our faces nice and tight, and mm -hmm. we'll be healthy as all hell. Wow. Uh, oh no, they're doing Botox, or what is this? But I thought Dennis was so worried about his face looking fat. It's gonna look a little more fat now. Well, I don't know. I don't think that's how that stuff works. It's just supposed to get rid of wrinkles, right? It's in? It's out. It's out. I did it. It's out and it's in. Pretty good, right? Painless. Right, let's just let that settle for a minute, and I'll, uh... Think about what I would like to do. Number one. I don't want to know what this is about to look like in a minute. I'm thinking about doing something to my earlobes. I've never really liked my earlobes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Fuck. How's that I feel? Oh, it feels, it feels oh, it's about to get even weirder than this, I guess. No, it's not supposed to be red. Shit, Dennis. I think maybe I switched these up. You switched them up? I don't know. I'm what thinking, the hell? Maybe I put some collagen in your eye. Collagen. Oh, the Mexican collagen in my eye? Sorry, I can't handle this. You're giving me right. Oh God, I think I'm going blind okay. in one eye. Well, hold on a second. I feel I'm very going, weird. I'm going blind. Uh... <laughs> I'm going blind. Are you feeling better today? <laughs> I like to hear that. <laughs> Dude, Frank is not even recovering, man. How long has he been in here? No, Good. he's just continuing. You're supposed to get him off of this shit. Damn, man. He's completely gone from the world. Oh my god, dude. I'm freaking out. I am so stressed out. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. You want to talk about stress? You want to talk about stress? Okay? I've stumbled onto a major company conspiracy, Mac. How about that? This is going to be it. I think. Check this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus Christ, Charlie. That right there is the mail. Now, let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? <laughs> Pepe Sylvia. This name keeps coming up over and over again every day. <laughs> there we go. Sylvia, I look at the mail. There's this whole box 
is Pepe Sylvia. So I say to myself, I got to Pepe Sylvia. So I go up to Pepe's office and what do I find out, man? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man exist, okay? So I decided, oh, shit, buddy. I got to dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia. You got to be kidding me. I got boxes full of Pepe. All right, so I start my... Charlie is going completely nuts. In a weird way, I'm like almost proud of him, even though he's clearly like going way too far here, but it's like he's doing work. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just good to see in a certain way, but he's going completely nuts. Jesus Christ, dude, we are going to lose our jobs. Well, calm down, because here's one thing that's not going to happen. What? We're not going to get fired. We're not, because we've already been fired. Oh, shit. We've lost our jobs. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. I mean, you may have health insurance with your job, but it's also deteriorating your health. Looking at Charlie right now. God damn it, dude. I'm having a panic attack. I'm actually having a panic attack. Oh, will you attack. settle down and have another cup of coffee? Fine. You know what, Barney? Give this guy a <laughs> cigarette. He's freaking out. Who's this? Huh? Sherlock Who? Holmes? Barney. Barney. He's the guy who tipped me off to Pepe Sylvia. Barney? Who the hell is Barney? Is you Max see seeing him? Oh, he Barney. didn't see him. God, it's just like Dennis last episode. You've lost your goddamn mind, Charlie. <sighs> oh, yeah. Damn, man. Give him a cigarette. I hear Barney. Oh, Where's Barney? Oh, how long is the wait at this place? We've been here for hours and hours. Mac is getting the panic attacks because of the cigarettes, huh? Nicotine withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Look, this guy's chill. Hey, Tonto. Come here. Come on, bub. Let's go. Get up. Gotta help me out here. Why are we trying to remove the sink? Pick this up and throw it through this. Okay, just to escape the asylum. Yeah, okay. At first I thought asylum was a strong word to use, but now I realize, no, that's literally what this is. An asylum. One, two, and three. <laughs> I, I guess Frank is slowly, yeah, coming back to his senses at least. He can talk again and stuff, so he realizes he needs to he needs to get the fuck out of here. Can't say the same thing for the others though. <laughs> wow, that's how we're gonna end it. <laughs> Oh, he's climbing over some fence now. Oh, Frank, you're way too small for this. Yeah, that's going to be the real struggle now. St look at this. Look at this man struggling. <laughs> he's still not making a single step of progress. Yeah, I don't think he will. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And of course, you can get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up for free and watch the next two episodes right now. So I'll see you there.